Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Hello and welcome. I've just said that, but hello and welcome. So today's video is going to be a tanning video and I'm really excited for today's video. I'm not going to lie because it's a review on the Primark tan. So I've got it on right now and yeah, I'm going to just jump straight into it, tell you my you know tan kind of routine what i do i have got some before and after pictures as well to share with you but yeah i'm just basically gonna share my thoughts on the primat tan so if you haven't already seen the primat tan it's this one here this one is extra dark and this one is medium dark so they do fair to medium this one which is medium dark and then the extra dark so i have tried both but i picked one of one of these because i have run out yeah it's just this tan right here and it's called bronze radiant glow self tanning mousse and yeah it's just the ps range it just says the ps right there so yeah this is the primat tan so yeah you get 150 ml it's not your average you know size bottle it is a little bit smaller how much you get in like your normal average bottle i can't even remember one sec okay so the for example the filter by molly mate tan you get 250 ml which fair enough you get 150 in this but it's three pound so two of these is 300 ml and that'd be six pound so kind of getting 50 ml extra if you buy two bottles so anyway i'm just going to talk about the tan and then i will tell you how i apply it so the one that i've got on right now like i'll just put my arm up it as you can see yeah it's a little bit patchy around my hands i've took um, my nail varnish off so it's a little bit patchy um so yeah it does sometimes cling on to your hands i've like i said i've tried this before and i did it again last night but last night i made a boo-boo because i didn't use my moisturizer so hence why my hands are a little bit more orange but yeah um last night i used the extra dark which you can tell because it's open so like I said, this tan is cruelty free. Now, it doesn't actually say how long you're supposed to leave it on for. I only left mine on for an hour. And normally, if I use tans like this, I, I do only leave them on for an hour. That's the reason why I get extra dark. Just because I don't like sitting in tan. I don't know what it is. I used to love it. I used to just cut myself in bit tan, sleep in it, and yeah, be happy. I wouldn't go if I smelled of biscuits because I'd just shower it off. But now, I do, I think it's just because if the kids need me, like, I do it with my time when they're asleep, but if my kids need me, then I can quickly just tear it off. But literally, I leave it on for an hour and, hello, like, yeah, and that was with the extra dark, so imagine, at uh, the extra dark, so imagine if I left that on for six hours. Your girl would be glowing like I would just be glowing from the gods. Um, like I said, I only left mine on for an hour and it's already like this this colour. Like if I was to use the medium dark, I would probably leave that on for like two hours. Which again, it re really isn't that bad because if I put the kids to bed, I can just leave my tan on for an hour and a half to two hours. And I've still got a little bit of a glow. So really, if you want to pop that on during the week, and then hello weekend, be like, one bam, thank you, ma'am. Then yeah. But honestly, like, apart from the boo-boo boo that I made with my hands, like, which was my own fault, I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, this tan is amazing for £3. So I really would recommend just trying it because... At the end of the day, it's only £3, so if it does go wrong, because what might work for me might not work for you, but if it does go wrong, then it's only £3, and you've not spent, like, £20 on a tan. I don't mind spending a good, you know, £20 on a tan if I know it's going to do a good job, but when you've got products like Primark bringing out the good goods, 
then yeah but yeah i would 100 percent tell you like to just try it and yeah so loving these so now that i've told you a little bit about the tans i'm just going to insert a before and after right here so yeah you can see my arm before and then after but if you haven't already seen my previous videos i am quite pale i've got anemia so i'm really really pale i extremely pale because i've got anemia and i am pale i have got dark under eyes as well so i mean i've really been enjoying tanning lately some days i just cannot be bothered which is fair enough i think we're all like that i think it's like I'll, I'll have a bath Monday night, scrub on my tan off, scrub it off again Tuesday, make sure it's all completely off, and then Wednesday and Thursday I'm just like, hi, tanning prep. So yeah, I'll I'll talk you through what I do, but yeah. So like I said, normally I would scrub my tan off even Monday or Tuesday night. It totally depends if my tan's going really really patchy and just clinging on to basically if my skin looks like I've got like dry patches of tan and stuff then I will wash it off on the Monday if I can get another day out of it I will wash it off on the Tuesday not gonna lie so yeah I would wash it off Monday Tuesday kind of um but I've washed that off so I washed this off on Monday and it came off so easily so I use a Primark exfoliating glove. You can get two glove, you can get two gloves for a pound in Primark. You can get different colours as well. I just use pink ones, and I buy the exfoliating like scrub as well. I think they're three pound. They're in Primark too, so it's all there. So you can get your scrub, you you scrub, your glove, and your tan. So what's that? You you scrub three pound. Your tan's three pound. Yeah, seven pound for all your tanning bits oh a moisturizer i mean you can get the moisturizer from primark but personally i use these two so i'll tell you why i use different moisturizers in a minute but yeah so on a tuesday or a monday i will use my body scrub and my glove scrub all my tan off and then when i get out the bath i go in with this I coat my full body. Oh, I also shave while I'm in the bath as well, like my legs and stuff. So I cover my full body in this. I just coat my body in this just so that it gets in my pores so that when I do my tan the day after, I've not got like black dots everywhere because I just don't, I just don't want that look. So I use this and yeah, it's really, really nice. The smell of this is so nice. Like the the tan, it's your normal tan like smell. It don't smell of roses. It don't smell of that like, this. It just, I mean, it don't really smell when you put it on. But afterwards, after an hour, it smells like tan. Like you know, you like biscuit kind of tan smell. It smells like that. But as soon as you wash it off, it it doesn't smell. Like I said, I just go in with this and this just looks like that. And I normally put this on every single night as well after I've tanned because I just love the smell of it. And yeah, it leaves my skin just really nice and soft. Now, so we're on the day after of using that now it's the tanning day so say i'm tanning i get my mitt ready i get my tan ready i get my um soap and glory smoothie start body milk ready and then i get my mirror ready because obviously you need a mirror to see where if you missed anything after i've done all that then i go in with my soap and glory i use this one it's a body milk one i just find this a bit more intense and I just put this on my knees, my ankles, my elbows. I also put it here on my neck. I don't know why, I just do. And 
I know I'm put it on my hands, but yeah, I didn't. So after I put my body milk on, I then go in with my tan and literally just pump it onto the mousse and just apply my tan in circular motions. But when I get to my hands, I literally just flick it like that. And when I get to my knees, I flick it as well, just like. And then I also have a tanning brush. So this is my tanning brush. This right here. It's just a Real Techniques buffing foundation brush. I have three of these. Two of them I use for foundation and this one I use for my tan. I keep this with my mitt. I literally put this inside my mitt so that I don't get confused because it has it is stained. So with this, I literally just go around my jawline like this and buff the tan in. I also then, I don't tan my full face. I know that sounds weird, but I don't. I tan talk. So if you've never heard of tan talk, what it is, is you get your, your tan, put a bit on your mitt, put it on your mitt, and then you get your brush, you dip your brush in like that, just ever so slightly, and where you contour, put a bit here, put it here, a little bit up here, and then I just quickly like flick it down my nose and then blend it in. I'll leave that to sit for a good hour. Then I go back in, dab it, and just put it and just like buff it in. Like I'm buffing my makeup in. And it just looks so airbrushed and seamless. But when I put my makeup on, it's so much easier because it just looks more flawless. And also, when you're going out and you can't bother doing makeup, and obviously you've tanned and you don't want your tan neck and your white face which we've all made mistakes and done. And if you haven't, good on you for learning because I've been there, done that, gone out blind and people are like, mum's like, the way that, if you tan tour, then it just looks like a natural contour and you look like you've been on holiday more than just all over your face. I mean, I used to literally just tan under my eyes, everywhere. I used to just get them in and just do that. But... Um, I've been doing tan touring for quite a while now. I actually can't remember how long I've been doing it for. That is how I tan tour. After I've got my tan on, I then leave that for an hour, like I said, if I'm using the extra dark. If I'm using a medium tan, I do leave it on an hour and a half to two hours, depending on if I've got the time. If I haven't got the time, I'll literally just leave it on for an hour and then just do another layer the next night. So yeah, that is it. After I've done my tan, I go in the shower and I, it sounds stupid, but I use baby wash because I put the, t I put the shower head on, not hot, not cooled, medium, like lukewarm, because if it's too hot, it's going to take the tan off. If it's too cold, shut that, I'm not standing in a freezing cold shower, so I have it lukewarm. And I literally just get a little bit of, like, you know, your baby wash. I mean, if you want to use normal wash, fine. But I use baby wash just because it's less harsh, so it doesn't take the tan off. And I just wash myself so that I don't smell of tan. And then, obviously, the next day that I shower, I just use normal soap. But yeah, just because, obviously, I've left it on for an hour, I like to use baby wash just so it's not as harsh. Yeah, that is basically it. After I've done my tan and I've got out of the shower, I pat myself dry with a towel. I just literally pat myself dry. I will just stand there. No, literally, I'll just pat myself dry. And then, obviously, when I've dried myself, I will then go back in with the Vaseline all over my body and then the body milk on my hands, elbows and knees. And, and did I say ankles? Yeah, my feet. But yeah, I basically put this all over and just this on like, you know, your hands and stuff. Um, but on days that my skin, sorry, I'm just like rubbing that in. I love the smell of that. On days that my skin is a little bit drier, I will go in with the 
Sop and Glory Body Milk just because that one is more intense than the other one. Because I use a Vaseline one every single night, I don't normally have to go back in with this one. But I mean, if I have to, then I will. So yeah. That's how I prolong my tan. That is how I do my tan. And that is the tan that I use. So yeah, I've shown you before and after pictures. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned some tricks. And if you didn't, then leave your tips and tricks down in the comments. Because I'd love to like try them out. But yeah, if you haven't already tried out the Primark tan, go and check it out. It's £3. You're not, you're not losing. You're not, you know not gaining anything but you're not well you could gain something you could gain a gorgeous tan but you're not losing anything and also they do if you want to scrub it off the, it does come off easily but it doesn't come off easily where it don't last if you get what i mean i can get five to seven days out this tan i could get longer but i just don't want to leave it on that long so yeah like i said Go and try it and see if it works for you. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm doing different stuff on here now. And yeah, you never know. There might be something for you. I will see you all in my next video. I hope you have a fabulous day. And yeah.